Today we're gonna to do something really fun. We're gonna make an easy lemon pound cake. And here are the ingredients that we need. Half a cup of salted butter, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of milk, one cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of lemon juice, two eggs, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and our last ingredient, a quarter teaspoon of salt. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. So our first step is to get all of our butter into our bowl, and my butter is nice and soft. It's at room temperature. It's been sitting out for several hours. And then to that, I'm gonna add in our granulated sugar. And at this point, I want to start creaming the sugar and the butter together. So I'm going to get my mixer going. Speed number one. I'm going to slowly start getting all of this together. And this is a really, really important step. We want to make sure that we cream these two ingredients. It makes a big difference in the final product. And if you have a KitchenAid stand mixer with the paddle attachment, this works, it works extremely well. So this is about 30 seconds later. This is all coming together nicely. I'm going to grab my first egg and get that in there. And that's just going to loosen up the mixture, give it a little bit more moisture. And then everything is going to start coming together really well. I just increased my mixer a little bit. And you can see now, with the addition of that egg, how smooth this is getting. I'll add in my second egg. And now you can increase your mixer and really get some air into the mixture at this point. Okay, that looks good. You can see how nice and fluffy that is. There's lots of air that has been added to the mixture. I'm just gonna slide this over. So we have our flour. I'm gonna put my salt in there. My baking powder. And my baking soda. And then I'm gonna just give it a little bit of a whisk. I want to just get all of this combined. That's good. So I have our milk and our lemon juice, and I'm just going to add both of those together. And then we'll bring back our bowl. I'm going to start mixing. Just want to get a little bit more air into my mixture. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to do a couple of additions. So I'm going to start off with our flour mixture. Just get a little bit of that in there. Grab our mixer. Slowly mix this in. Speed number one. I don't want to overwork our batter. And then I'm going to grab our milk and lemon juice. A little bit of that in there. And just mix it in. That's good. And then a little bit more of our flour. Get that in. And slowly incorporate this. Speed number one. And then I'm going to get the rest of that in. Don't over mix. Okay, that's good. And then our last addition of flour. 
and that includes our baking powder, baking soda, and our little bit of salt. Okay, and then just very, very lightly. Start mixing this. And that's it. I do have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's ready to go. And I have a little baking tin here, and I have it lined with parchment paper. This parchment paper in some countries is called baking paper. I'm going to grab my batter. It's very important to have your oven preheated. So make sure your oven is going and that it's at the right temperature, the correct temperature, before you start making your recipe. And you can see how airy this is. It's super, super fluffy. I'm going to get that in here. Just get all of that in. And make sure that you use a spatula. We want to make sure we get all of that out of our bowl and into our pan. Just like that. And this smells really, really good. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to get that little bit there. Perfect. And then I'm just going to very gently just push. And this is just spreading it. I don't really want to like move around too much in there. I'm just like that. That's good. So now I'm going to pop this into my 350 degree Fahrenheit oven and I'll be back when it's done. So here we have our lemon pound cake right out of the oven. I baked it for a total of 50 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point, it's extremely hot. I'm going to let it cool down for about 20 minutes and then I'll unmold it and I'll come back and I'm going to show you the final product. So this is about 20 minutes later and my cake is still warm, but I just want to get it out of my pan so that I don't have any condensation happening. I'll remove my little metal pins. And I'll just grab the parchment paper and just pull it right out. And there we have it. Get rid of our pan here. So at this point, I want my lemon pound cake to completely cool. And then I'm going to come back later and we're going to do a simple glaze for the top. What I have here is two cups of confectioner sugar. This is equal to 260 grams. To that, we're going to add some fresh lemon juice. So I'm going to start off one, two, three, four tablespoons. So that is equal to 60 milliliters. I'm going to grab my mixer and just very slowly start mixing this together. If you don't want to use lemon juice, you can also use milk or water. But this makes it really, really nice. And for the glaze, I don't want it too thin. So I'm going to check it first and see how I like it. And then if it's too thick, I'll add a little bit more. So after mixing it for a few seconds, I'm happy with the thickness like this. So that's two cups of confectioner sugar to four tablespoons of lemon juice. So that's what we're going to use for our glaze today. So at this point we have two options. We can either glaze the cake just like this. So if we do it like this, we're going to get drips all the way around. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pan and I'm going to drop this in here because I'm going to fill it up in here. I want to have my glaze a little bit thicker and this will kind of hold it in 
like that so it doesn't drip down the sides too much. I want to have more on the top. So I'm going to grab my glaze. Mm, that smells good. I'll get it right on here. Now if you were going to do it the other way without putting it back into the pan you can add a little bit more lemon juice and thin it out a little bit more. But I think this is going to be nice. We'll get all of that in there. And I'm just going to spread it around. I want it to go on all the edges, get right to the edges. That's good. I want to try to make sure that it's nice and even. I'm going to give it a little bit of a tap. And there we have it. Now since I did it this way, this is going to take a while for it to set up. So I'm going to let it completely firm up and then later on we'll come back and we'll cut into it. So this is about five hours later. I really wanted my icing to really firm up before I unmolded it. And now that it has, I'm just going to go around and I want to get a really nice clean break here. So I'm just pushing it in so we can pull it out and the cake won't break. Okay, that's good. Grab it. I've got a little bit sticking right here. I just want to make sure that's good. All right, and let's try this again. And here we go. Pull away the sides. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, really, really nice. So at this point, I just want to transfer it to a cutting board and then I'll come back in a second. So I'm just going to get a nice little slice, clear off the edge here. Look at that. Wow, I'm just going to zoom in right there. So I've zoomed in quite a bit because I'm very excited to show you what this pound cake looks like inside. Really, really nice. We have our nice lemon glaze right on the top there. Looks really nice and this smells amazing. So here is our final product right here and I'm just going to, where are we here? I'm just going to cut a little piece. Can you see how nice this cuts? Really, really nice. And this is super, super moist. But you see it's nice and dense and this is what you want with a pound cake. Really, really good with a cup of tea or coffee and of course I'm gonna to have to try a little piece mmm that's really really good you get a really nice burst of lemon flavor when you bite into this if you love lemon baked goods this is a recipe that I really really hope that you try super easy you saw me make it if I can do it you can do it too if you enjoyed today's recipe Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. If you're on Facebook, you can see written ingredients on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash bakelikeapro. That's it for today's video, and I'll see you next time.